After four months off screen last year, Casualty is now back. Its first episode has won widespread praise for telling the story of the pandemic through the eyes of frontline hospital staff. I just didn't realise how many of us were getting infected. We're on the front line. It was just a matter of time. We're going to do something about the fact that this virus is affecting a ton more patients from ethnic minorities than anyone else. I just don't have the time to go up there and risk assess every single patient. Make it the time. Don't treat me like a statistic. I'm so sorry. Noel's life support was turned off. He passed away at 1823. Let's all know. What a great team we are. goosebumps, doesn't it? Charles Venn, who plays clinical nurse Jacob Masters, is with us now. It's so good to see you. That was an astonishing episode of television. It was like it was like a film and it really brought home to us what it's like on the front line. Very much so, very much so. It was, it was an episode whereby we knew we were taking on a huge task, but um, of course, uh, you know, casualty is, you know, UK's number one medical drama. So it was incumbent upon us to make sure that we, uh, we, definitely told the story of, you know, really this, this, it's so important. this issue. Yeah, it's so important right now, Charles, to get that out there, you know, because we're in a situation now where we've just got to hang on until everyone's vaccinated. And it showed you, of course, with the, with the death of Noel, which was really hard. But again, that must have been really tough for all of you to do. Yeah, but it, it again brought it home to you, the reality. Very much so. It was really difficult because, you know, obviously, um, um, Noel, uh, uh, Tony, Tony Marshall, I've been loving Tony Marshall. He's been part of the show for 12 years. So, of course, we were devastated, um, you know, when we heard that he was leaving. And it was very difficult to kind of keep it under wraps. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a double whammy for sure. It was. Yeah. And I know that your wife actually had COVID and she found that episode pretty difficult to watch. Yeah, very much so. My wife, uh, it was had a bit more of a personal touch for her because... Unfortunately, her first cousin died from this, uh, this wretched disease. And, um, you know, it was definitely tough, a tough, tough watch. Brought back some, some you know, some sad, painful memories. Oh, it's, it's yeah. awful. It, it, it really is. But again, you know, I have to say you've done, you know, you and, and, and all of the team, you know, all of the actors, all of, all of the team, the production team, um, have done us a, a real service, I think, because, you know, we can listen to politicians and there is a degree of mistrust there for one reason or another. Um, but, but watching you bring that to life um, was, yeah, it was important. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, honestly, because, you know, you know, Lorraine, the whole thing about it is, you know, what we want to do is just make sure that everybody just follows the guidelines we've seen now. It's, it's beyond reasonable doubt. Obviously, this, 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 virus kills, you know, so we obviously have to adhere to these rules as, 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 as much as we can at this particular point until this, you know, this nightmare is, uh, you know, comes to an end. And one of the you things know? about, about casualty and, and Hobie as well is the, you've got to get it right. And I know that you work very much hand in hand with the uh, healthcare experts and, and healthcare providers so that you get that right. And again, you know, you've got personal experience of this, obviously with, with your wife and, and, and personally, but in your profession as well. Absolutely. It's, it's essential. You know, we are, I mean, when, when we're on set in order for us to, you know, for the government to give us, you know, the, the, the go ahead to, to shoot, carry on shooting, we had to adhere to the two meter, uh, you know, rule, no matter what. So as a result, it's a tricky one because obviously we have to find ways in which to still give the, you know, the effect that we are closer than two meters, but still we are sticking to it regardless. We're being very stringent with the guidelines. No, that made it, and again, it's that thing about reality. We saw Connie there, and the way that you saw like her face, she'd obviously had the PPE on, and that, again, I've seen pictures, you know, of, of, of medics and, and people in intensive care working, and that's what happens to them. And I think that was really important too. You know, authenticity is everything. And, you know, it's one of the wonderful uh, responses we got from that first episode, you know, the fact that it was, uh, it was very accurate to, to real life in that sense. Uh, all those little pieces of detail, like you said, you know, the markings yeah. from the face masks, uh, the fatigue, the stress, and the reality of, you know, obviously, you know, um, loved ones and, and, you know, team members potentially passing from this thing. You know, uh, yeah, we just try to, you know, 
you know, just really give real homage to to mm. to this, like I said, this this pertinent pertinent issue right now. So um, yeah, we feel very proud, very proud. Well, we saw we there we saw the scenes there between uh, Jacob and Connie, of course, and that has been an on off relationship. I mean, she brings out in that very very scary character she is sometimes, Connie. Let's be <laughs> honest, but it, it does bring <laughs> out it brings out the best in her, though, doesn't it? You see a different side to her sometimes. Very much so. You know, she's she's that the main fulcrum of the of of you know of the of the show. Uh, she's the matriarch. You know, she's the one that keeps it keeps it running. You know, the the heartbeat of the show. So in many ways, yeah, she have to she has to definitely sort of take take you know the the reins, if you will, uh, of of casualty. And um, as a result, yeah, that's uh, you know she brings the extra quality to it. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's just so good that you're that you're back um and, and doing the job that we expect you to do. I mean it's 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 that thing, isn't it, of it's that thing, Charles, of being entertaining and dramatic and all of that, but informative as well without being preachy. You just you, you absorb it and you, do you know what I mean? And it all comes from the characters. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, you know, it's I think that's one of uh uh casualties you know magical properties it's it's one of its great properties it's, it's qualities is the fact that you know it does tackle these real issues you know um m most of the scenarios if not virtually all of them on on casualty have actually happened before but of course you dramatize it you know mm. to give it that sort of entertainment uh, uh quality if you will but um yeah that's that's the magic of, of casualty and so we do inform but at the same time we do entertain and Absolutely. it's that wonderful thing. Charles, it's a joy to talk to you. I hope the next time I see you, you're in here and we'll talk about many, many other things because you're a very interesting man. <laughs> you're like an onion, there's lots of layers. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. I really appreciate it. And of course, Casualty continues Saturday 7.50 on BBC One.